And thank you, Chairman Cartwright and Ranking Member Adderholt for having this meeting. Senator Nelson, thank you for being here. Um, I look forward to um, these hearings, especially the NASA hearing uh, each year. Uh, Stennis Space Center is NASA's premier facility for propulsion test operations. In a practical sense, Stennis Space Center's main budget line is rocket propulsion test. The president's budget request for rocket propulsion test shows a negligible change for fiscal year 23 and no expected changes on the horizon, leading one to believe level funding will ensure this facility is meeting both NASA and industry demand for testing for the foreseeable future. I would like to read a line directly from NASA's fiscal year 23 budget request. NASA's rocket propulsion test program maintains and manages a wide range of facilities capable of ground testing, rocket engines, and components under controlled conditions. This test infrastructure includes facilities located across the United States, and the program provides a single entry point for any user of NASA rocket test stands. RPT retains a skilled workforce capable of performing tests on all modern day rockets and supporting complex rocket engine development. RPT evaluates customer test requirements and desired outcomes while minimizing test time and costs. Now, Stead Space Center is a national treasure as you were quoted saying on your December visit to Stennis. Uh, industry continues to look at utilizing Stennis Space Center for the expertise of its personnel, the 125,000 acre buffer zone, the A and B and particularly the E test complex, and because of the abundance of propellant stored on site at Stennis. However, I have questions about whether Stennis will remain as a national treasure, given the ever evolving nature of space exploration. Um, so Senator Nelson, uh, do you believe that level funding for the rocket propulsion test budget into the foreseeable future will both keep pace with inflation and meet industry demand for commercial space company needs defense space company needs, and NASA's own testing needs? For the time being, Congressman, yes. But uh, you have a beautiful opportunity to have the Stennis Space Center uh, evolve into a propulsion test complex that will be government and commercial multi-users, uh, not unlike what has happened to the Kennedy Space Center that was primarily a government launch center, and now it is a multi-user spaceport. And with that 125,000 acres that you have there, you've got so many other opportunities. Uh, you, for example, have there the U.S. Navy, that's involved. Uh, there are unlimited opportunities, but just in the area of rocket propulsion testing, uh, it can become the place for commercial and government rocket engine testing. Well, well thank you, Sarah Nelson. I, I agree with you. That's why the enhanced use lease agreement extensions are so important and also helping uh, the, the, the center uh, look at economic development and, and sites, so, you know, in, in attracting a new industry to uh, the region as a, is a win-win for, for everyone. Um, my and, next uh, question. Congressman, on that, may I say, if you all could help us on the enhanced use lease, it's this herky-jerky one year at a time authorization uh, if y'all can give us that authorization for a number of years in the future so we don't have to run around uh, at the last minute getting some uh, moving vehicle to attach uh, enhanced use lease. And the congressman from Mississippi has just pointed out a good example. Yeah. Well, well, sir, I agree. And I think the House has been the leader on uh, you know, renew and enhance use lease agreement. We had a 10 year bill that did pass. And um, when it came back uh, from the other body, it was uh, uh, shortened uh, tremendously. Um, so I agree with you. The industry needs certainty. Industry needs stability. Um, and we're hoping maybe this is the year we will give it to them. And uh, real quick, last question, uh, sir, can you tell us what you perceive NASA's role is and should be and helping the Department of Defense and the defense community to develop hypersonic 
capabilities and does that extend to utilizing NASA's testing infrastructure? I believe that some of it is classified, Congressman, but uh, just suffice it to say that NASA's involved and uh, a lot of our expertise in space and aeronautics is uh, considered valuable uh, in research and development uh, by uh, across the broad spectrum of government. And uh, the bottom line, I agree with you, Congressman, that uh, we uh, need to be very serious about uh, developing hypersonic uh, vehicles. Well, sir, thank you for your time. Um, Chairman, I yield back.